This is your skin, a barrier against disease, an autonomous mechanism with the ability to regenerate itself after injury. Your skin is composed of 300 million cells, each one able to receive information from the brain and work in harmony with its neighbour in order to react to heat, cold, dryness and wetness and respond accordingly. The tissue of the skin is sensitive to the slightest alteration in its environment. It is able to respond to the cold with a process called the pillometer reflex, or goosebumps during which tiny muscles in the skin cause the hairs to become erect, which in turn traps tiny pockets of hot air, producing an effective form of insulation. When faced with increased heat, the skin perspires and releases sweat, which subsequently evaporates. The latent heat or heat release during the evaporation process cools the body, providing an automatic means of regulating its temperature. The skin itself is made up of three primary layers, the epidermis, the dermis and the hypodermis. The epidermis forms the outer layer of the skin and is resilient to environmental stress that may face the body. It is waterproof, resists toxins and is infinitely flexible, allowing unrestricted movement of the body. The dermis forms the middle layer of the skin and is able to cushion the body from the stress and strains of movement and impacts. This area contains the nerve endings responsible for our sense of touch and our ability to detect heat and cold. Finally, the hypodermis contains the materials used to generate repair in the upper levels and macrophage cells to help fight infections. When the skin is damaged by excessive exposure to heat, the tissue increases blood flow to the affected area, which causes the capillaries to dilate, thereby causing the skin to become reddened. This increased supply of blood contains white blood cells that isolate and repair damaged tissue, allowing it to peel away, revealing new, healed skin. Although you may take it for granted, your skin is amazing, and when you next look in the mirror, remember, it's not just you looking back, but a complex system of cells constantly working to look after your body.